What's going on everyone? Connor and Shane here. Today I want to talk about a bunch of mid cap mid cap cryptos that you know I've been watching for a long time that I have a lot of conviction on, you know, whether I hold them or not. These are not really micro cap focused. As I said, they're mid caps. These are coins that have a lot more, you know, in market cap, whether it's in between 10 million, upwards of even like a hundred million. But the only reason why I'm not invested in some of these mainly is because how high the market cap is. But do not mentally take that as a limit to where the projects can go. You know, there's a ton of really solid projects here that I'm going to bring up. <clears throat> Again, that are out of my market cap range in which I usually look for. But they have very, very strong utilities with a lot of future growth. So... You know, we got one here. This one is Rocket X Exchange. I've talked about it before. Talked about it on this channel weeks ago. <clears throat> and RVF is basically an aggregator for trading and swapping across different chains. Now, RVF, you know, they've had a lot of success recently. They've had a lot of transaction volume. You know, I think it's averaging you know, a few hundred thousand upwards of like million, couple million a day. Um, which you know, market cap, let me pull it up here on CoinGecko too. You know, for the amount of trading volume they have, in comparison to their market cap and their TVL, is, it's actually really interesting to see. You know, RocketX Exchange, so it's number 491 right now. Yeah, and obviously, as you can see, though, the chart, again, this is not, <laughs> this is not a buy signal. Please don't take it as a buy signal. I want to put this one on your radar, guys. This is a very solid project. I think it's one of the top crypto transaction aggregator platforms that you can use. They got good fees. Um, <clears throat> you know, and they got so many different chains. They got almost every single chain you can think of. You know, maybe not like micro cap chains that are out there, but you know, what you do is you connect your wallet. And then you just make transactions based on whatever chain you want. And then you choose the coin on that chain. And you swap it out just like that. Like this project itself, I, I think in the bull run, these are going to be like when, um, in last bull run, when you were looking at Unis when they were in low market cap. And I feel like it's going to be the same thing in this bull run, but for aggregators, like every single person, if you don't use centralized exchanges, you're going to be using a DEX, and why not use a DEX that can change instantly on top of every other blockchain you can think of, then try and using like a Uniswap and then having to use another platform to then bridge your coins over and then trade coins. You know, this just saves you a lot of time and fees. So that's why I'm so bullish on these. Um, yeah, 24 hour trading volume, 500,000. Again, for a fairly new exchange, it's really, I think that's pretty solid. You know, I, I've seen days where it's had upwards of a million plus trading volume, and that's only going to grow from here. So this is definitely a high conviction play that I, I can see just skyrocketing from 50 million in market cap, 55 million. This easily a multi-billion dollar plus market cap project. I have zeroed on my mind. So Rocket X is a, a, re a really good one that I have um, just strong conviction in. One that I've never talked about on the channel here is Pal AI. So this one is honestly just a powerhouse, a powerhouse of an AI project. You know, I saw this at, at the bottom, like at very low prices, maybe a couple million in market cap. I was looking at it, you know, but I just, I really didn't see the full utility into what they actually built out now. But Pal AI is a, it's a solid AI coin. So what they kind of do is they work hand in hand with different, you know, whether it's Telegram bot projects, but they're like, they're trying to be like an all in one hub for I'm like, why is this taking so long? They want to be like an all in one hub for everything right here, Telegram and Discord. Yeah, AI solutions for businesses and projects. And they got revenue sharing. Yeah, I'm just going through this here too. You know, but all I see on social media is, is they just keep partnering with different projects, you know, and it's that what they want to do is, and what they have is an AI tool that you just can input into any sort of Telegram chat, 
and based on their partnerships and how they integrate those, you're able to use and um, do so many different types of things, you know, in Telegram itself from buying coins, watching coins, pulling up charts in Telegram, like they're just integrating a lot of different things like in this field. This is like an aggregator for all these so like smaller AI projects, which I think that's why it is it's like as massive as it is. You know, it's sitting at a hundred million right now, which it is that is getting up there for me. But again, this is like the AI, I guess, bot play of all plays. So I still think potentially, right, it could dip, could come down a lot, you know, before really making a next move up. But Pali Eye is definitely a powerhouse of an AI coin. I, I yeah, my conviction is in this is just long term. This is gonna send. This is gonna be a key player in this space in the future. It already is a key player right now. So another one we're gonna bring up actually is it's kind of funny. It's trending right now. It's Tectum. I, again, I think I talked about this a little yesterday. But yeah, Tectum to me is such a solid solid layer one you know the project itself it's fairly new you know they got a lot of bullish factors that I think can really take this coin into multiple hundreds of millions if not multiple billions in valuation in my opinion it's still just a very slept on layer one project now they do a lot of like working on top of Bitcoin as well they have soft notes which are actual physical like pieces of whatever paper that you can actually scan in and you can put crypto on and you can integrate that into your wallet so you can literally hand people crypto and safely get it in and out of your wallet just like that which is I think it's really interesting but let's attack them right here yes yeah, and at 51 million yeah like I said this is multi-billion dollar project in my opinion I just think it needs a little bit more exposure but you know actually it's got a bunch of exchanges it's on too but right, as long as this keeps growing, utility just gets better and better. This is just gonna, it, it's just gonna pick up. So that's gonna be another one that's on my radar here. Um, we're gonna talk about Render too. This is one of the biggest coins that I think I ever have talked about on the channel here. But Render Foundation, Render Network. This is a powerhouse of a GPU. AI crypto play you know I'm, I'm so bullish on just the fact just the idea you know AI rendering is you know it's such like a almost like a slept on utility in a sense many people don't think about it nor really talk about it because well honestly I couldn't tell you why but I don't hear anyone talking about stuff like this next generation of rendering in AI tech you know it's let me see where is the it's one thing I wanted to bring up about it too. Let's see. Oh, that's interesting, actually. I actually, I'm actually, I never saw this, so I'm curious to see when this is gonna happen. They voted to move from ETH to Solana. That's gonna be an interesting move too. But you know, I'm again. I'm actually, I can't find what I was looking for here. But bottom line, Render Foundation, doing a lot with the GPU space, you know, the Docs team, market cap's at 1.4 billion. Um, yeah, team's Docs, like I said, which is good. That's always, like, something I like to see. You know, they're active on Twitter. They got a lot of different, very bullish things going on here. And, yeah, long term, it's going to be one of the, one of the biggest plays in, I think, AI in this crypto space. Let's see here, because there's a couple more I wanted to bring up too. <coughs> um, yes, yeah, so that's another one. So we're gonna talk about Revest Finance here too. So this is a massive one. I've made videos on this. This is like an RWA, a real world asset in crypto play. This one's sitting at 26 million now. And so what they're doing is they want to do a lot with tokenizing T bills, which T bills are government. Um, you know the government given uh, 
Yeah, the government given like contracts or whatever, in which are investments, bottom line, where you just take a certain amount of money and then in a matter of a year or whatever, you make a percent back on that money. And they want to just tokenize the entire finance industry with T-bills. You know, I've dug, I dig a lot deeper in another video. You know, I just, I love coming back and reading this stuff too. It's, it's so interesting to me, some of the stuff they do. They got everything going on here. Revest Finance, Smart Vault, yeah, fully audited too, which is really good. <clears throat> Team of Stocks, which is always something like, like I said, I love to see. You know, that just gives me a lot more sense of, you know, truth. And it makes me feel a lot more comfortable investing in a project. Especially when the team is doxxed. But Revest Finance is a powerhouse in the RWA space. Chart is still in a moonshot, I'm not gonna lie. I've been waiting for this to dip since I think like 14 cents. You know, if I got in I would have doubled it. But I just I have a certain strategy for how I play the market, so I'm still gonna wait for a dip. Somewhere under twenty, maybe in between ten to fifteen cents. If it gets around there, you know, jumping in, beautiful entry, and I'm just going to long-term hold that. But, yeah, Revest is a definite gem in the space right now. And let's see, I think there's one more that I want to bring up, too. Maybe not. I think that's kind of most of the, the ones that I feel are very high-conviction plays. Yeah, that's it for right now. These are the ones I wanted to cover today. And bottom line, these are actually like great projects that I want you guys to do your own research on, look into as well. <clears throat> and if worst case, if anything, these are projects you guys should be rotating into on dips. Whether you're in micro caps or you're just trading other coins. I think just getting into some of these bigger plays and just accumulating and accumulating these bags these are going to be easy 10, 20, 30, 40 X's in the market once it picks up. <clears throat> I think if you can get some of your micro caps, you know, if you get big bags of those, you can start, you know, taking a little bit of profit, worst case if you want to, and just rotating it into bigger projects like this that you know are going to be very safe in comparison to these micro caps. You know, it's going to be almost like a more guaranteed return. So these are, yeah, just a couple that I really like. I just want them on your radar. Now, these aren't really signals as far as to buy. I just, I want to put these on your radar because still anything around prices like this today are going, this is what the chart is going to look like in, in about a year from now. It's going to zoom out like this and just go. It's actually going to look like insane. So... Anything you're buying right now, anything you're watching, have on your radar. I still think as an, a minimum of 10, 20 X to just moonshot to. So bottom line, that's kind of what I've been looking at recently for larger caps. <clears throat> Let me know what coins you guys are holding, what coins you guys are talking about right now. Um, and that's what I got for you guys today. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.